Hey guys, my name is Matimio, and today I have taken up another one of your challenges. You guys know me by now. I like to do all of these crazy setups that you guys recommend. I find that it keeps Battlefield 3 fresh and fun for longer. And this time, you guys wanted to see if I could do well with the F2000, with the 8x scope, the bipod, and the heavy barrel attachment. But the twist on it was that I had to use it in single fire mode. So essentially turning this into a sniper rifle class, and a very poor one at that. That. And so going into this, I knew it was going to be difficult, but I was not prepared for how frustrating and how just awful this combination was. And probably the largest thing holding it back is its initial recoil. And I love the F2000. It's one of my favorite weapons to use within close encounter conflict. It's got an amazing rounds per minute of 850, which I honestly couldn't really take advantage of because I am using this in single fire mode. But the initial recoil within, at least within close encounter conflict, isn't really an issue. It like doesn't. Be, it's not really a problem. But when you're always using it in single fire mode and you have a high powered scope on there, your screen is constantly bouncing all over the place. And you guys will see throughout today's video that it's just flying up and down. And so when I would try to take people out, especially at a distance or even when they're up close, it took me longer than it should to drop them because I was always having to deal with the crazy initial recoil. Like, it was insane. And so what I essentially had to do was flank my enemies as well as possible because if I got in a conflict or if I got into a firefight and we both started at the same time, we both started shooting at the same moment, they're always going to win like 9 out of 10 times. Like, they would have to be abysmal. They had to be terrible to not win that engagement simply because I'm having to wait for my recoil to drop from just flying up in the sky, letting it drop back down, firing again, letting it drop. I had to be very patient while they have an automatic weapon and they can just blow me out of the water. Even if I'm at a distance, like even if I am across the map, like they will still probably have an advantage over me simply because of that crazy initial recoil. And so like I said, I would need to try to flank my enemies as well as possible and try to be a little sneaky, which which wasn't easy. I mean, I, I am not using the suppressor, so I'm not staying off the minimap by any means. And that's essentially why this challenge was so frustrating and why it was so difficult. Like, I, I tried to get gameplay for hours, and there were some moments when I thought to myself, is this worth it? Am I having fun? Like, what am I doing with myself right now? Because there were some moments when I would go on these insane kill streaks, and when I was able to do that, my heart was pounding. Like, I was having a blast simply because I knew what a disadvantage I was at. Like, every single engagement I was getting in, I was outplaying my enemies, and that's such a satisfying experience. But when you just get mowed down over and over again simply because of the loadout that you're using, it's kind of a large deterrent to continue to try to get gameplay. I mean, I, I did because that's why I'm making today's video, but there were some moments that uh, were kind of painful. Uh, another thing that's holding this back is that it has the standard damage model. It's only going to do 25 damage up close and then 18.4 at long range, so it's not like it's a high-powered recon weapon. It's not like the M417, the SKS that are single fire modes, but have the advantage of doing a lot of damage. So you don't have to put as many rounds down range. And so it basically was just the combination of that first initial recoil, having to be very patient with every single one of my shots. And if, if there was someone out in the distance, I had to take a lot of shots to drop them. And it was a pretty horrible combination. Uh, one thing that I did get some use of was the bipod, surprisingly. Normally, I'm not someone who likes to hunker down. I don't usually like to use the bipod in Battlefield 3 because I find that it makes me way too vulnerable to enemy snipers. Like, you guys know me. Like, I love to snipe in Battlefield 3, and whenever I see a prone sniper, or really a prone anyone, it's almost a guaranteed kill. Like, it is really easy to drop someone. And so, as someone who knows that knowledge and knows how easy it is to drop someone who is prone, I usually try to avoid those situations. But for today, because of the crazy recoil, the bipod actually made it a lot more manageable. And when I was trying to take some people at a distance, you guys will see that the bipod made it a lot more manageable and I could kind of get a little bit more out of the rate of fire of the F2000, the reason why this is an, a nicer weapon, simply because of the bipod. So that was something that was kind of a saving grace in some scenarios, but also, like I said, it, it, it did get me killed because I was so vulnerable. So overall, from a challenge perspective, you guys passed with flying colors. I went into this thinking that it wasn't going to be all that difficult because I really enjoy the F2000. I've used combination of attachments like this before and even single fire shot. But because of everything I said before, 
it was it was kind of a nightmare. And what's even better about this is that it wasn't like using the repair tool. Like you guys know that's already challenging, but using a combination of a weapon that's normally good and then making it trash isn't the easiest and you guys succeeded. So once again, well done. Uh, but that is about it for today's challenge. I hope you enjoyed. If you have a setup that you would like me to try next, let me know down below in the comments section. Also make sure to thumbs up the ones you would also like me to try. But until tomorrow, guys, have a good one and take it easy. Thank you